just becoming numb to it. My blood was boiling. Mm, I was kind of enraged by it, but I like to think I'm a sensible person. I refuse to believe that people actually think like this all the time. According to Carter, 2007, racial trauma or race-based stress refers to the real or perceived experience of racial discrimination. Racial trauma is physically and psychologically taxing, yet oftentimes black people are unaware they are experiencing it. This calls into question, what reactions do black people have in response to racism and how do they cope? In a society where our black students are encountering Confederate paraphernalia and racial slurs on our collegiate campuses, we found it imperative that we investigate how racism impacts the verbal reports and biometrically measured stress levels of black university students. Additionally, we investigated the usefulness of a Black Lives Matter meditation for coping with racism. We tackled this research study by piloting a mixed method study with 26 black participants who were exposed to a racist audio recording. I'll refer to this as the racist stimulus. Our participants were randomized across two treatment groups. The first received the Black Lives Matter meditation following exposure to the racist stimulus, while the second sat in silence. Last, we conducted interviews with each participant about their experiences with racism, stress, and how they cope. So what did we find? Non-parametric tests revealed that during the racist stimulus, the participants' heart rates were significantly higher than their heart rates at baseline. They express, expressed a variety of responses in, in response to the racism. For example, cognitively, some of our participants intellectualized their experience. I was impressed. Her logic was flawed. Affectively, some of our participants sat with their anger. I was enraged by this. And somatically, some of our participants even cried. You know, I was almost in tears. Was the meditation helpful? For some of our participants, yes. Overall, the participants appraised the meditation, experiencing things like empowerment and affirmation. And for some, sitting in silence was actually better. So where does this leave us? Well, for one, our students are experiencing racism and it's taking a physical and psychological toll. And for two, the Black Lives Matter meditation for healing racial trauma can be added as an additional coping mechanism. If you take away one thing from my presentation, know this. The experiences of our black students do matter. Thank you.